Am I abusing people who don't make money? Am I abusing them by paying them less? Hi, everybody. My name is Kurt Jordan. I am the founder of Kong Academy, and my partner Elka and I have been running Kong Academy for the past five years, and everything that needed to be done was always on us. Had We had a couple of employees and things. We're a small business, and the thought process is we can't afford to pay someone to do all these things. We're going to have to do it. But without even a consideration that there are people around the world that need jobs, and that these jobs actually completely change lives, because Part of the stigma as well, just to be honest, was like, am I abusing people who don't make money? Am I abusing them by paying them less because we live in Seattle, Washington? Would it be a form of abuse, essentially, of I'm only going to pay you this much because I'd have to pay so much more to someone else who lives here? The answer is no, not at all, because we work with two VAs, one of which lives with their family because it's a multi-generational family. That's the way things, as I understand it, is more or less done in the Philippines. And first of all, the people are incredibly hardworking. They're absolutely wonderful people. And it's an absolute pleasure to work with them. But then on top of that, I was really concerned. I don't want to take advantage of anybody. But we work with one of the VAs who lives in a multi-generational home with their family. Her dad is an engineer. And he, as an engineer, makes less money in the Philippines than she does working with us as a VA. And because of that job, it's completely transformed their standard of living. It's because things don't cost as much there. And so jobs don't pay as much there. So I couldn't be more grateful to Phyllis and her team and all the VAs that she works with because they really do make our lives easier and we get to help build their lives as well. And so it's beautiful. It's wonderful and I'm really grateful. 